Well, how's it going today? Finally got to put the carburetor on the tractor today. Standing here by my 1953 John Deere 60. It's been sitting here for a while and now that I finally got the carburetor for it, let's get it on the tractor. So here's where the carburetor sits on the tractor. The, uh, the mounting flange is here, a little rusty. I got this uh, over here, this scrub pad here. I've been scrubbing on that to kind of clean them up a little bit before I throw the gaskets on. So I'm going to scrub them up quick and then uh, I'll meet you back here in a minute. All right, so I went and sprayed, uh, or after I got done scuffing it up, I took the carb cleaner and sprayed it on there, wiped it on there, get all the fucking dust and crap off there. And lighting may suck, but now let's uh, find the bolts and throw the carburetor in there. All right, so I got the carburetor all wrapped up in this old t-shirt here, but here are the gaskets. That's the front. That one's the back. Some of the bolts here. There's some other bolts laying on the operator platform here. We're going to figure out what goes where here because the starter bolts I know are laying up here too. So figure out where, what goes where and we'll get the carburetor put in place here. Uh, I don't know if it'll work for me to find a place to set the camera up and you watch me struggle to put it in here. But I'm definitely going to need both hands to put the carburetor in here. So... Um, so yeah, I'm going to get the carburetor in here. Alright, here I got it in place. I'll get two bolts in. One here and one underneath there. That's all that's holding it in right now. So i got to put the other two bolts in on the other side. And then i got to put the gasket in between here. Shimmy it in there between it somehow. Put the four bolts in the front. I've got the gas line which goes right there. Throttle cable there. Choke cable right there there and then the installation is complete I was gonna set my GoPro up so you could guys watch me in a time-lapse or a sped up video or whatever but uh, went to turn it on and the damn thing was dead so go figure I hear a lot of people on YouTube complain about GoPro batteries not lasting so I got it in the truck charging right now so uh, maybe I'll wait a little bit and turn the GoPro on here I might just say screw it and just get it together and get it done so uh, I'll check in back in with you guys here in a little bit Alright, so I started to put the front together. So I got one bolt started yet, but I gotta put this thing in there yet. Now I started that bolt up here so everything lines up, otherwise the air cleaner pipe here falls down. And there's a trick I wanted to show you guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the gasket, go up from underneath, and stick it in this hole here with a bolt through it and start it. And then I'm going to pull this bolt back out 
and then I'm going to take the gasket and flip it up in there and bolt it together. Because if not, it's going to be a bear trying to get this thing, get over here in the light, get this thing to stay where it's supposed to and line everything up. So this is a little bit easier job. Um, you know, like I said, this will go up from underneath here like that. Then I'll put the bottom bolt in on one side then just uh, rotate it up in there. I know it'd be cool to sit there and show it to you guys here, but I can't hold the camera and do it at the same time. And I don't have any magnetic mounts yet. I know I probably should invest in one, but so far I've been trying to just squeak by on what I got here until I get to the point where I can uh, get back to monetization like I was when I first started out. So, yeah.